As you walk through the gates of the Disneyland Park, you are greeted by the enchanted allure of a Main Street USA. As you walk through the gates, you are going into the life of the American 20th century. But did you know that Main Street USA could have looked very differently? Yeah. It does. Well, you're gonna tell us all more about later oh, in the video. I? Yes. My name okay. is Marike. And my name is Mark. And you are watching Magical Vacation Guide. In this video, we're gonna tell you all about Main Street USA. We're gonna reveal a lot of secrets. There are so many more that we don't know, that the Imagineers don't know. But we're gonna tell you everything that we know. And the next time you're walking through Main Street, you're gonna like, oh, I know that one. So definitely keep on watching. Yes. Disneyland is built in the meaning of Walt Disney, which means that it's built like a film studio. Like a film studio, yes. Yeah, like a magical world where all your fantasy can explore everything that the Walt Disney Studios have to offer in the movies. Okay. And do you know one sign where you can see it? No. You have here this sign, here, on the wall. They have that at every gate where they say, here you are. Here you leave today and enter the world of history, discovery and ageless fantasy. But it's a little bit different about the American parks. It is. In the American parks it's more like you leave yesterday, today and tomorrow and involve yourself in a world of fantasy. Something, yeah, like, something that. like that. Okay. But this is? But why is that? It's big, especially big for Disneyland Paris, but why? Um, I think there is no Tomorrowland but uh, Discoveryland. That must be it. Yeah. And I also noticed this sign, the RER -E sign. Do you know what that means? The e -R -R Oh, sign. what does that mean? Uh, Euro Disney Railroad Company. Oh. In the beginning years of uh, World of Disneyland Paris, uh, Disneyland uh, called Euro Disney. And because it is a railroad station, Euro Disney Railroad Station. Hmm, sounds good. Yes, and you're entering a big uh, film set. Uh, or cinema. Cinema, or you are going to uh, a movie. And you see some posters uh, for the coming videos. Uh, uh, films, they are coming. So uh, Disney uh, decided to make some posters from uh, adventures you can make in uh, the different lands in Disneyland. So they make some posters from Big Thunder Mountain, Hyperspace Mountain, etc, uh, etc. Et and it, you can find them be under the train station, uh, on the walls. Can you show it? Yeah, I can show it. And uh, what's uh, the fact is you can find some posters uh, on the sides of the parks. See so if you can find the left like this one, it's on the left. It's also on the left of the train station. The Victor Railroad is the same. And if you go to the other side, you can find the Prince Drive. And it's on the side of the building. Right. And so they decide to do your adventure. And you can see on the side where you can go for an adventure. Discovery on the right. And adventures on the left side. Uh, between uh, Liberty Arcade and Emporium, behind me. Yeah. That's the green building. Yeah. Am I pointing around? Yeah. yeah. That's it. That's the fire department from Disneyland Paris. I hope there won't be a fire here. So well, I hope also not. Because then we're in trouble. One. It often rains in Paris, so they try to come up with a solution so people can see cover. Yeah. In Japan, they have like a whole cover on Main Street, but uh, I'm glad they didn't do that in, in this in Paris. That is one way how Main Street could have looked, but in Paris they have decided to get arcades, yeah. which are parallel Main Streets or something. Like that, that is behind like the, the shops. Yeah. Two parallel, they have the Discovery on the left and the Liberty Arcade on the, on the right. Am I saying that right? No. no. Left, Wait. Right, yeah. <laughs> Liberty is left and Discovery is right. right. Yeah. And every arcade is themed. 
So you have the discovery, which is themed as, uh, you know, with the, the inventions. Uh, of the, the future. Yeah. yeah, with the science, uh, you know, with the, uh, the, the, the inventors of the French Revolution. Yeah. Because France has oh, reproduced, not only France, not only France, France. but Europe in general. Yeah. Europe in general has reproduced one of the greatest inventors of the world. And that's how they want to showcase and present them. Yeah. And then you have the Liberty Arcade, which is the connection and the relationship from France to the United States. Yeah, and like the Eiffel Tower and Eiffel Tower and... The Liberty Statue. And the Liberty Statue. Is the so Eiffel Tower also American? No, the Eiffel Tower is a gift to America and the gift back. Oh. Uh, only, 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 sorry, um, the Eiffel Tower is a gift back from America to the France for to getting the, the, the Liberty. Liberty statue. So the French gifted the Americans the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, and the Americans gifted the Eiffel Tower back. Yeah. But this, in the Liberty Arcade, this is where they showcase the relations of that. So if it's raining and you want to get to the other side of the park, definitely get onto the arcades and it's beautifully themed. Yeah. Well, it's raining a little bit, so let's go let's and check go. it out! Now we are going to Discovery Arcade where we can find some, yeah. The Discovery yes. Arcade theming. Yeah. But if you, a, a tip for everyone who loves Lounge Fly, if you want to go to find Lounge Fly, here you have it at, um, what's yeah. called? Oh, it's called? Ribbons, ribbons and Bows, here ribbons at the corner. Yeah, yeah. Here you can find most of the Lounge Fly they have, but not all. Hello. Not all. of different shops right here. If you look closely like your Disney Clothier and they have Market House Street. with all the porcelain and arts. Shall we take a look?
Nature's USA, you can shop until you drop. It's the biggest supplier of Disney merchandise. Yeah. And the biggest is right behind us. It's Emporium. Emporium. Here you can make your Disney vacation tangible and make and buy memories from your park. So Emporium is the biggest one and we want to show it to you because you can get everything, autographs, book, plushies, you can get princess dresses, mini ears, seasonal uh, merchandise, yeah. and go so on, go so on. But yeah. there's also really special because it's just not a bland shop. No. It is a very decorated and themed shop with a lot of Easter eggs. Not which, only this one. Not only this one, but every here, everyone in Disney. Every shop has a own story. So we want to uh, pick someone we can tell everything. No, we cannot tell everything. Because we make a video about uh, a lot of hours. So, but now let's get into the Emporium, Emporium shop and show you some of the amazing details and merchandise. Yeah, let's go. If they have a new Disney princess or a Disney movie, this is the first place you go to if you want to get souvenirs of that new movie. For example, they have Wish and now they have all these wish merchandise that you can buy this looks so soft so cute can i have it no and if you enter the emporium shop there is a big yeah, ceiling ceiling gazebo kind of thing and you can find some uh, great american historical figures yes that's what uh, I'm going to say. I have seen Nikola Tesla, the Wright brothers who invented the planes. Yeah, I'm uh, zooming in. Uh, President. Uh, yeah, George. Uh, Washington Henry, is here. Henry Ford. Uh, oh, uh, Graham, uh, Henry Graham Ford. Bell, yeah. who invented the cell phones. So there are a lot of American historical figures, and they all lived with uh, with a waltz time frame of living. Yeah. So one of the big plus uh, you can find is uh, wall painting here behind the table and there are uh, this one is Los Angeles and you can see the Emporium shop painted uh, um, in the same color same style as you can find in Los Angeles uh, Anaheim. At this event, and I. And on the other side, you also can find a painting. Painting, and uh, this one is the same as you can find in Florida at Walt Disney World. It's a little fun fact. Not that long ago, we paid a lot with uh, cash money, uh, and uh, there are the system here in the shop where they can bring the cash money behind uh, to the bank. And there we are in the middle of Main Street USA where you cross two streets on the left and on the right and what did they call? On the left? It, no, on the right. On the right, it is called Market House Street, yeah. and on the left, it's called Flower Street. Flower Street. Yeah, and there's something really special about Flower Street. What is that about? Well, here behind me, you see Walt's Restaurant, where you can yeah. get fine dining. It's really expensive, we haven't tried it. The, yeah. the menu is so specific, so fine dining, and uh, that we, it's too expensive to try. But the address is very special because it's Flower Street 1400 O, which is also the address of the Imagineers. Yeah. What is an Imagineer? An Imagineer 
is someone who creates the magic. These are the engineers of Disney who create the magic in the Disney parks. Yeah. They are imagine engineers. Yes. And engineers. beside Walt, you have Lily's boutique. boutique. Yeah. So who was Lily? Uh, Lily was the wife of Walt, I guess. Yes, yeah, she was. She was. Walt and Lily were inseparable. Walt really loved his wife and always wanted to be near her. So that's why they chose in the parks to have a Walt's restaurant and a Lily's Boutique just next door. At Lily's Boutique you can get your goods for a home sweet home. Here you can get plates and bowls and mugs and glasses and towels and even uh, uh, dishes for casseroles. So there is a lot to get at Lily's. So uh, before we check that out, we also want to show you Dapper Dance. Yeah, yeah. right here. Here you have Dapper Dance. Here at the Dapper Dance, you can get your haircut. It, it's now closed for refurbishment, so we cannot show it. But here well, you we can, can show it from the outside, but the inside, it's open. It's not open, I guess. Maybe we can try. Okay. But here a male can get a, a haircut at a real American barber shop. Barber shop. Yeah. And it's called Dapper Dance. Dapper Dance. And the Dapper Dance in the United States are the a cappella group. Yeah, yeah. Well, barbershop group. The barbershop group. So, uh, we're gonna check out Lily's Boutique and we're gonna try to check out Dapper Dance if we can show you a little bit. So, stay tuned, let's go. <laughs> Here you can see it, and then you are in the, such a vintage chair, and it costs around 30 euros. What I can see to get a haircut as an adult. For kids, it's 18 euros. So now let's go to Lily's. But before we go to Lily's, you forgot to say, well, it's a fine dining, but it's also the only place in the Disney Ooh. park you can sit on the first floor. And that means, on Main Street, that means that if you have a good spot, you can see the parade and eat fine dining at Waltz. Sounds like a win-win to me. Yeah. I would love to experience that, but the gamble of getting a good spot. It's luck. It's luck. Very luck. So, okay. And now we are going to Lily's Boutique. And before we forget, um, if you enter the Emporium on the side, uh, like the, the side where Depper Dance is, uh, there is a tap dance school on the first tap floor. Tap dance? Tap dance. Yeah. Oh, the tap da the dance tap ballet. Tap dance yeah, ballet. Tap dance ballet. And sometimes you will hear them practice their uh, tap dance. You can hear like skills. click, 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 click. Yeah, you are a class. You are you ready? One, two, three. And, on, uh, and then you uh, hear it. click, 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 click. Oh, click, nice! Touch. Never heard it. No? No. Oh. Fun <laughs> fact. As you say, Walt and Lily in Lily's boutique. And here you can get like plates. I really love this one. But I've also set my eye on that plate, which you have in white and black. I want the black because I feel like it's more luxurious and Mark wants the white because it's more practical but we have not decided yet yeah. to be continued. Just after Lily's Boutique, you have a special themed shop, which is themed after a circus. You can get mostly kids stuff like toys or dress up things. So let's give it a look. But there is also very special theming, so always mind the details. Yeah, 
Не так все. Another fun thing to see is the cast members' door in Disneyland and uh, they put them here between Walt's and Lily's boutique on the main street. Do you want to work here? This is the door. The casting agency. Yeah. If I knock, will they offer me a job? There's nobody here. Yeah, you will think uh, some of the names are on the window are random names. No, they they're are. not. They are the Imagineers that we talked about recently. Yeah, and uh, Main Street Gazette, right behind us, this building, you can find the head um, Imagineers like Tony Baxter. He's a big one in he's, Disneyland Paris. Yeah, he's the one that makes the Big Thunder Mountain goes under the water mm -hmm. and uh, take one of the most, uh, I think he has said more than 50% about Disneyland Paris. He's How iconic. He decides the most things about who it's going to be and what it's going to be, and which looks like uh, he is an iconic engineer, especially here in Disneyland yeah. Paris. So you can see him right here on this window, like the first window. First? Yeah, the first yeah. window. Uh, a little bit, but there. On the left, if you're in the front, you're standing in front of the. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, from our. Uh, on the left, yeah. <laughs> here, this, this little window, you can see his name, but the, don't close your eyes walking through Main Street because no. you can see so many. Engineers, names of Imagineers, they have given a tribute to all of them while building. But that's not the only thing that you should pay. At. No, 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 there is a lot to see here in Main Street. For example, what I want to show you on Market House Deli. Can we turn around a little bit? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah? Okay, can we. Uh, it's. Uh, okay, where's the baseball? I'm looking for the baseball. Here? <laughs> here? Wait, where's the baseball? Yeah. yeah, the baseball commercial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just right here. Yeah, yes. You have a cup of coffee, and sometimes it co there comes smoke out of that cup of coffee. Yeah. And did you know that uh, if we get another look of the main street, uh, like the year 20s, 30s, that they should put more from that, like that. Um, billboards in the street oh i didn't know uh, and the reason that we have some billboards is like so from oh so they think american looks like that way yeah with a lot of billboards with a lot of commercials yeah but there are so much to discover but i'm looking at only one window there you have craftsmen there you have something else there you have the popular game of homa there's so much to discover and yeah. all the numbers like for example yeah, this number when you see 1892 yeah. also has meaning it's meaning of a, a year it's I believe. the style where the building is made in uh, like uh, it's a, a building out of uh, 1892 yeah and they start the building yeah. start with a lower number and they go up so the further you walk into down main street otherwise well if you start the yeah. further you walk oh, yeah, down, down Main down Street, Main Street yes. yes, you get in, into the future yeah. and you'll end up, uh, I believe, in 1901 or something, which is the birth year of Walt Disney himself. Another fun fact. Yeah. And right behind Marika you can find Flora's. Flora's! Yeah, it's, uh, it's in the start of the... Uh, in the beginning of Disneyland, uh, Euro Disney, it was a Kodak store and there was the nerds of the city uh, they had uh, yeah, everything about electronics like uh, cameras, uh, some film rolls, like that. And now yeah, we, we make pictures digital with our phone. We photo pass. Uh, they, they, they still uh, still have a photo, photo pass, pass booth. Yeah, One yeah. of the biggest photo pass booths of the Disney parks. Yeah, yeah the Disney. Land Park, Disney, Walt Disney Studios has its own photo pass booth. But it's one of the biggest one here in Disneyland Paris. Um, it you is can see, still see some glimpses about uh, the nerd in the town. 
but now it is more a merchandise shop for when you get really se seasonal like the 100th yeah. birthday 30th birthday Christmas this is the shop to go to and if you notice the name Flores 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 yes, yes. Flores it's also someone dear to the Walt Disney which was his mother Flora was his mother Spider, yeah? yes oh. so let's give it a look and there's also one really special easter egg that I recently found out because of Mark that I really really want to show you yeah. so let's go to Flora's boutique <laughs> Yes, and we need to go to this way. Here you have a little phone and actually when you enter it, you can hear all the phone calls from Main Street. Yes, I guess. Here's the microphone. I don't know if you can hear anything, but, but definitely try it out. They also have one on the other way of Main Street, right? This is the only one? One of the two. Where's the other one? I don't know. Harrington? Market House Deli. Now, uh, this is all connecting shops. So now we go into the bakery and the candy shop. They do have the best cookies here. Look. So this shop has its own wall painting. Yeah, you can see some pier, uh, adventure pier, and that's typical American. And they have Disney map rooms. This one's broken. I can't hear anything. No. Normally you can hear something here. This one's broken. This one's broken. And here you can get all baked goods and coffee. And we put a little kindness in everything we bake. Aww. Here we have kiri, kiri products, which are mostly with, I believe, with carrots. They have carrot cake, they have cupcakes, they have, I don't know. Here you have it, you can get some coffee in there, they have a little spot to sit on. And when you go next door, you have... Did you notice that the spots where you can sit is like a, a cable bake, a cable uh, table, like a cable yeah. car? Yeah, oh! Yeah, that's the... I did one, this one. Like a tram. Yeah, like a tram. Okay, and next door, if you're feeling more ice cream, even in the winter, you have Gibson Girl Parlor. We can walk here because it's not crowded. Yeah, they're also selling some baked goods and they have mostly Ben and Jerry ice creams. Ben and Jerry's. Oh, Carte d'Or, they had Ben and Jerry's. A month ago they had Ben and Jerry's. Now they have Carte d'Or. And they have all kinds of flavors. I'm seeing like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten flavors. A true American restaurant with true American yeah. food. Hot dogs. Of course, here at Casey's, Casey's Corner, Corner yeah. at the end of Main Street, USA. On your left. On your left? On your left. Yeah. On the corner of Main Street, USA. Across if you're entering the park. If you're leaving the park, it's on your right. <laughs> across the Gibson Girl Way, you can get ice cream. Here you can get hot dogs and they have a little des dessert in the form of a baseball filled with chocolate and mousse which and is caramel, great yeah. and caramel which is a great dessert so if you're here 
definitely try that and try mobile order here because that goes way faster. Don't you know what mobile order is? We have made a video on that, so definitely check that out. This is also a very special restaurant here, Victoria's. Here you can get little season snacks and it's like a sit-down cafe. It's a perfect break for a crowded day. And here above, there's a house where someone is bathing. And if you are standing in front of it, you can actually hear it. For mothers and infants, there's also a special place where you can take care of your baby, which is here at the baby care center. It's at the end of Main Street. Here you have Plaza Gardens. You have the little area, Victoria's. There's Mark having a break. Hello. And here you have the baby care center. So that's great. And here are the toilets. And you walk out of Main Street, you can also enjoy some dinner here. Behind me at Plaza Gardens. Yeah. <laughs> you have an all you can eat. It's a more classical French all you can eat. Reservations are pretty hard to get, so definitely reserve on time. And in the evening, it's uh, a character dining. Yes, and in the morning. And in the morning, yeah. And breakfast and dinner is character dining, and lunch is a little bit cheaper because you don't have characters, but that's also fine. And here, uh, oh, here. Right here, you can also meet some characters in the morning. Yeah. Today they had uh, Tigger uh, and Eeyore yeah. from Winnie the Pooh. Also, and, yes, uh, uh, Winnie the Pooh characters. And with Halloween, they had Goofy with his special Halloween outfits. With his candy machine. Yeah. It was a crazy candy doctor. Yeah. Okay. I was very enthusiastic here because we were on Main Street on Central Plaza but afterwards I was not as enthusiastic because I was so happy to tell you all about the amazing things about Central Plaza and about the castle and the view but we lost all our voices in the recordings which I don't know how it happened but uh, I... We also filmed this piece a little bit after we had filmed our, well, our clip and Mark said to me like, oh, this is also an amazing fact because you know that the shape of a Main Street transportation building is the same shape of the castle in Anaheim. Yes, Mark confirms it. And it is this exact same shape and size. So if you are ever wondering what the castle the original castle that walt disney built himself in anaheim looks like you only would have to look at the main street transportation system and it's a bit of a downer i know because we were in anaheim a couple months ago and it is actually the size it's not what you expect especially if you've been to paris and you've been to orlando um but still it is a very beautiful castle still, but we wanted to show you and wanted to be like a little bit of YouTube magic to put it a little bit before, but because we lost our sounds, we just had to do it this way. It is, it is the way it is. So here we are. I don't know what we're doing here. Maybe we're talking a little bit about, about Plaza Gardens. Yes, we are talking about Plaza Gardens where you can eat all the French food. But later in the editing, I saw that we already discussed this part. So, you can ignore that and, um, well, we lost the sound, so it doesn't matter. But I also know that we are closing this video about Main Street right now. There are so many facts about Main Street because it is just amazing, filled with details and everything. And we could talk and talk and make videos about it for hours and hours and hours. And there are so many unknown details and details that are have not officially brought up or that have been put intentionally there but it is not public public publicly known so i guess now we are closing the video and i would say that past my camp past mark would say like if you like videos like this definitely subscribe to our channel 
because we make more videos like this where we give you all the tips and tricks oh no that is not what they would say look there's the castle well mark's head there's the castle hi <laughs> it's an amazing view from plaza gardens isn't it oh it's such amazing when you're eating at plaza gardens and you can have a view on this amazing castle the reservations are hard to come by food is really good it's really french orientated and we have a little video coming about it with all the french foods that you can find in disneyland paris how amazing is that but now i think she's going to say like subscribe to our channel we make more videos like this disneyland paris has uh, no secrets for you and definitely if you want to book a Disneyland Paris vacation, check out the links underneath the video because sometimes we have amazing deals for you, like 25% off tickets and hotels. But for now, I want to say I hope you have a magical day from wherever you are and we hope to see you in the next video. Bye!